everybody and welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is key's playing life so today we're going to be talking about um goals for 2022 not necessarily really goals but things that i'm trying to accomplish in 2022 um i'm coming to y'all raw and uncut i have not had time to do anything and plus it's a work week so i don't really wear makeup or nothing like that during the week anyway so bear with me Okay, so really quick, me and my hubby have decided to go on a major, major budget. Um, we are trying to build our accounts up. Um, they were okay. They weren't what we wanted them to be, but they were okay at the time. Um, but around in December, I had to get another car. Um, did not want to walk into another note, but I ended up having to do that anyway. Um, but I do have a plan for that, for that note. I'm only, because it's my dream car, <laughs> but it's not the year I want it. So I feel like I'm going to keep this car for maybe two or three years and then trade it in for the car I want. Because if I'm going to pay a note, I'm going to pay for the car that I actually, actually want. But it is my dream car. It is a Jeep Compass um sport and that's the my that's the car i've always wanted um besides my camaro but camaro is far off until i reach these goals but yeah i do plan on trading that car in in about three years but like i was saying me and hubby we have decided to go on a very very strict budget um to get our accounts back to where they need to be um he has started back work um if you don't know my husband my husband had cancer, um, so he was on disability as well as, you know, not being, a, so the income wasn't what we were accustomed to it being, so. Okay, like I was saying, let me adjust y'all. Um, hubby, ooh, y'all kind of, let me clean y'all off. Oh, okay, I think I fixed it. <laughs> okay that's a whole lot better so like i was saying hubby was out of work for like m majority of 2022 i think he went on leave from his job in july so although we had income it wasn't the ideal income that we were accustomed to having so um he's back to work so everything's starting to resume back to normal um but we decided to go on a strict strict budget um, we have a $50 a week allowance, um, so that's like $200 a month allowance. So he gets paid weekly, I get paid monthly. So we decided to do a weekly allowance of $50 for personal money, um, $40 gas each week because it doesn't take anything but 40 between $35, $40 to fill our cars up to get us to our prospective jobs. So we have a $40 a week allowance 50 for gas, $50 um, allowance for personal money. Um, I don't know about him, but I know for me, if I don't use that whole 50 within that week, I put the remaining of that money in my personal savings. Now, we do have a retirement, we do have a rainy day fund, and we have our personal savings accounts. And then we have a joint account also for date night. And we have separate checking accounts as well. Um, so we've decided to um, add funds to those accounts every week. Um, whether it's a $50, $100, I don't know. We will take you along um, as we budget the billing for each week. So we'll be doing weekly. Um, I don't know if we're going to do it weekly or every two weeks, but... However we do it, we will keep you guys in the loop of how we're managing this money. We also have a, a $1 challenge. And I have I bought a jar. I bought, well, it's not a jar. It's like a little cute thing where we put all our ones in. Um, I'm going to be strictly working with cash as far as my personal money and my gas money just because... I feel like when you have a card, you're not, for me, I'm not as responsible yet. So I'm steady swiping that card. But, <coughs> ooh, <coughs> excuse me. But if I have cash, I'm more inclined to be aware of what I'm spending and how I'm spending it. 
And um, also, $50 a week to some people may not be a lot, but I feel like if you want something like as far as shoes or so something to wear, which I'm not going to be buying shoes, clothes, or wigs for a while, or handbags because I got too many. But if you want shoes or just something other than what you have at home, then it's your job to save that $50 till you get what the amount that you're trying to, um, the cost of what you're trying to get. Um, my personal, I will say my personal savings goal for my personal saving is $5,000. I don't know what his uh, personal savings goal is. Um, for the retirement, I want to at least accumulate $10,000 by the end of the year. For the rainy day fund, I want to accumulate $5,000. Um, and just in my checking account, you know, I don't know. I haven't set a goal for my checking account yet. Um, I mostly pay my like personal bills, like my credit card bills and stuff out of my personal checking account. Um, we have written down our bills for the month, like our lights, our gas, our rent, our car notes, our car insurance, the cable bill, cell phone bills. Um, we have written that all that down. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to kind of be more aware and caught and conscious of what we're spending and how we're spending our money and i think it's i as you guys know um a while back i was doing really good with saving i was saving and then you know a lot of things happened within 2021 i got the I, I got divorced i got engaged um a lot of things happened so it's like i'm starting over um also, so like I said, we're going to take you along on, the, on our savings journey. Um, our first check hits on the 7th. Um, so I'll be doing a video on how we're paying those bills, the breakdown of those bills and things like that. A lot of that, those bills are my personal debt of things that I had did before we decided to go in together on this. Um, so for instance, I had a obsession with Clarina and I was tearing Clarina up. I'm almost finished with Core Pay, paying them off. I still have to pay Clarina off, but I'm getting it done and I'm getting it out the way. And I'm gonna really try this year to not really just buy. I'm learning not to buy stuff on the whim, kind of be, you know, just because I want it right then. Cause y'all know I have a habit of when I want something right then, I'm gonna purchase it. So I'm trying to get into that mode of not doing that anymore we do have a planner that's a budget planner so it has um, um, all our bills and things in there like stuff like that we have all that written down and then we have a daily planner that I keep as well for like appointments things that we have going on things that we need to take care of so I will be using these um, weekly, I will go in and write down the things I need to write down and take care of the things that need to be taken care of in this. You will see him in a couple of videos, not very much because this is my channel. Um, even though it's a vlog channel as well, um, y'all know me, I don't make nobody get on no camera if they don't want to. That's including my kids and my husband. When they want to film, we film, they film. Actually, we have a Q&A, how did we meet or get no, how well do you know your spouse video coming up really soon. Okay, so another thing that's going on in 2022, we have set a wedding date. We are getting married October the 29th. I'm really excited. Um, I have decided to take his name. Um, as you guys know, I have been married two other times previous to this. One of my marriage, my first marriage was five years. My second marriage was 13 years. Um, this is the last one, honey. Okay, she she not she not getting married after again after this. This is the end. I not told him this is the end for me. So if this ain't what you want, you need to let me know. But we are really in sync with each other, and it really feels good. Like that's my best friend. That's my homeboy. That's my partner in crime. That's my everything. Like it's amazing. So yeah, we have set a date for um, October the twenty ninth. Um, just because we got engaged i think it was we got engaged i think we got yeah we got engaged october 29th so we want to get married on october 29th we're not doing a wedding i'm not for the show 
I'm marrying him. I'm committed to him. So we are not doing a wedding. This will be his first marriage. This will be my third. And I'm just, we are both on that wavelength of that money we could be spending for a wedding to for people for to pay to pay for a wedding for people to come and be spectators. We could take that same money and have a nice, nice honeymoon with. So that's what we have decided to do. Um and just kind of like save. So we're not really into I'm not into the whole wedding thing. You know, I'm, my commitment is to him. It's not to the world. So it's something that should be between me and him. We will have a few people there um, to stand in for us and, and, and love on us. But for the most part, it's going to be mad, super, super, super small. Um, let's see. What else? Audrey's gra graduating this year. She is a senior and she will be graduating in June. I'm excited about that. She has so far got accepted to five of the 11 colleges that she chose um one of them being tsu she's still waiting to hear from alabama tusky alabama because she, they have a good veterinarian program and she wants to go there but um she has got accepted to five of them um we got prom coming up um we are doing engagement photos for our um engagement um, as you, some of you guys know, I started a new job, a new journey in life. So I'm focused on that. Um, so after I graduate, we really only have one more to get, to get, you know, to get ready for graduation. And that's Lil Red. Um, yeah. And I did do a video on my makeup slash beauty slash date night room. At first it was going to be a beauty makeup room beauty filming room but then as me and him created this room together which if you watch the other video you see how it all came out and how it looks now as we created this room i was like this room is so freaking bomb it's so many things it's more than a beauty room it's more than a filming room it's actually a we can have our dates in here because it's a little i'm sitting on the couch right now um we have a tv in here we have stuff in here um this is my office as well so this room has become so many things that i needed it to be so yeah you'll see me doing a lot of filming in here a lot of um things in here i'm also gonna start back doing get ready with me's um i haven't done them in a long long time i actually stopped doing them um, i'm gonna be bringing them back I know y'all been like, where's your hauls? I have not been doing hauls lately because I have not been buying anything. I have I have come to the place, because I'm finna be 41 this month. I have come to the place of knowing that I have absolutely everything a woman can have. From clothes to shoes to, to smell good to wigs to everything you could think of that you could want as a woman, I have it. So, I'm not really into buying anything right now. So, I haven't bought anything. If you see me do a haul, any type of haul, it'll probably be a cleaning haul or a Walmart haul. Just picking up little stuff that we need here and there. But, for the most part, I, you won't see too many hauls on here anymore. Um, you will see more blogging because I just told him I need to get back to my blogging because that is my roots. I was a blogger before I, anything else. You will. I will. I know I haven't done a lot of natural hair videos in a while, and that's strictly because I don't do my hair anymore. Um, my hair is gotten too long, too thick, and my hands literally cramp up. So I don't even do my hair anymore. The most I might do to my hair is maybe some two-strand twist, and even then my hands start cramping up. So um, I've kind of cut out the natural hair videos. Um, but I will see if it's okay with my stylist because I love her to death. She is going to do me a silk press on my natural hair for my birthday. And she's also doing a cute little ponytail on me, um, uh, after that. So I will see if it's okay to take you guys along so y'all can see her work and see how she manages and keeps my hair. Um, what else is going on? Pretty much that is it, guys. You know, I'm back planning, so I will be taking you guys. I mean budgeting so i will be taking you guys on that um i'm not so much doing the cash envelope system but i am so for instance i'll have cash envelopes for my gas i'll have cash envelopes for my personal spending money um that is pretty much it 
<coughs> oh, and I'll have, I don't think I'll do cash envelopes for our day night because our joint account, our money goes, our day night money goes into that account. But I will keep you updated on what we add to those and what we take out. Um, but yeah, on the, for the most part, we we are buckling down on a lot of things. Oh, I am going to be getting ready to do my front yard probably in May or June because we need to do, redo that whole landscaping. Now, the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to pay somebody to do that landscaping or if I'm going to do it myself, but it's going to get done because I can't take my, I have a beautiful porch and the landscaping is not up to par. So I'm going to take care of that. Um, other than that, not so many other changes will be going on for 2022. We just in save mode. I did decide to go with my 401k and a Roth with my job. Um, so I have decided to do that. Um, and for the most part, that's pretty much it. But I am going to be coming back in 2022 vlogging more interacting with you guys more and just taking you along this budgeting savings journey that we're on i don't and and and, and if you don't budget high budget that's fine don't come for me y'all y'all can think that's my daughter and her boyfriend hey hey i'm filming i am filming i don't think they can hear me okay but if you don't budget high budget, that's fine. I might budget different than you budget, but that's my way. So please don't come for me. Um, maybe there's something you could take from my budgeting. Or even if you have advice on budgeting, you can give that. But keep your negativity, negative comments to yourself because that will kind of get you blocked, the band. Um, this is our journey and we're doing it our way. We're not, we're not going by anybody's set rules. We're doing what's best for our home and our household and what we think will be beneficial to us for our future. So yeah. All right, guys, I am going to get out of here. Uh, remember to think smart, spend smarter and have fun playing it all out. Um, Y'all look forward to uh, more videos coming because I definitely have more videos coming your way. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.